In this lesson, we'll continue a review of Math Test 8, Section 4, Calculator Permitted, questions 18 and 19 on this page. All right, let's take a look at 18. The figure shows the relationship between the percent of leaf litter mass remaining after decomposing for three years and a mean annual temperature in degrees Celsius. In 18 forests in Canada, the line of best fit is shown. All right, so let's take a look. We have on the y-axis leaf litter mass remaining, the temperature, and we see these are the observations. They've drawn a line of best fit, which best represents the data. It's also called a trend line. We know it's got a negative slope. So let's take a look at the question. A particular forest in Canada whose data is not included in the figure has a mean annual temperature of negative 2 degrees Celsius. Based on the line of best fit, which is the closest to the predicted percent of leaf litter mass remaining in this particular forest after decomposing for three years. And so all we have to do is look for negative two Celsius, right? And so here's zero, this would be negative 2.5. And so it's gonna be just a little to the right. And it's gonna be, it looks like right, it's gonna be right there on the line of best fit. It's gonna be right at 70, isn't it? So pretty straightforward question. And the answer is C. All right, let's take a look at question number 18 or 19. The range of the polynomial function f is the set of real numbers less than or equal to 4. The zeros of f are negative 3 and 1, which of the following could be the graph of y equals f of x in the xy plane. So we're given some information about this function. Let's start with the zeros. Remember, the zeros are the solutions or the roots. That's where it crosses the x-intercept negative three and one. So I would just look for functions that cross negative three and one. So we see this one, two, three, yeah, this looks like negative three and one. So this definitely could work. This one, they kind of switch it because this looks like positive three and negative one. So we know that can't work. And let's take a look. So C does have the, um, C has one and negative three and that could work. This one has one, it's also got zero and negative three. So this is not gonna work because it gives us an extra solution. And let's look at the other condition. The range is the set of all real numbers less than or equal to four. So we can't have so any line on this function that would be greater than four. If you look here, this is one, two, three, four. This looks good, right? Because it equals four and all the points that lie on the function are less than. That looks good. And the other one that was still open is C, but you see these are points that are definitely above four, and it's just gonna, it's gonna be more of them as it extends upward. And so the answer here is 